Praise Jesus, everybody. Thank you for joining me once again on the Michael Tobin Show. It is 5.33 a.m. Pacific Time, and I'm coming to you live from San Diego County. And uh, let's see, what is the date today? It is December 18th, Monday. And again, it's 5.33 a.m. And I have to be at work in 30 minutes. And I am parked in front of the building from whence I work. I don't know, I just tried to think of an old word. Which I work at. It is still dark. But, you know, there's so much that I want to come to you and talk to you about. I want to talk about Jerusalem, the capital city of the Israeli people, ever since ancient times, biblical times, the 12 tribes, um, before they even went to, to uh, Egypt. It was promised unto Abraham, and the first king of Israel, actually, about 400 and some odd years after the exodus occurred, they wanted a king, and Saul was actually a descendant of the Benjamites, and he was Israel's first king. And then came, after about 40 some odd years, came King David. And from King David, as prophesied, came the Messiah, <clears throat> Jesus, who was blood related to King David. And uh, man, I want to talk to you about some of the books that I've been reading. I've already started at Genesis and made my way to the book of Acts in the past uh, three, three weeks or so, four weeks. Seems like just a few days. And uh, I didn't want to skip any books, but by the time I got to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, I was just so uh, worked out, just over, not overworked, but just worked out with all the kings and the, and, and, and the disasters and the prophecies of end times and and. And I'm thinking, man, I don't know if I could handle reading the Gospels and knowing that it's going to lead up to Jesus' crucifixion on the cross. But then, of course, there's the ultimate. He rose from the dead after three days, which is victorious and spectacular and everything. But the Gospels is always sad for me because it's sad reaching to the point to where Jesus is betrayed and tortured and and uh, ridiculed <clears throat> on the cross, but all of that is because he saw us while he was on the cross. We are the joy that Jesus saw while he was on the cross, and uh, for all of eternity, we get to be with him just simply for believing in him. I want to talk to you about that. I want to talk uh, most of all i want to talk to you about california will we survive we've got this big gas tax they want to eventually raise the price of gasoline about two more dollars within about four more years they want no gas cars on the roads in california california is burning california has flooded this last past winter and we are just burning and i'm just don't even I shudder to think about what the next disaster somewhere in the United States is going to be because our nation is suffering disaster after disaster but I just I'm going to with the short time that I have I want to uh read to you an update on California's now third largest fire in California history back in 2007 we are 2003 California had the Cedar fires San Diego County did and that is actually on record as the largest in California history and I got to work at that with the Billy Graham rapid response team and Franklin Graham's uh, Samaritan's purse and I've been involved with them ever since 2003 visited southern states as a chaplain with the Billy Graham Rapid Response Team after Hurricane Katrina and Rita 
and other hurricanes prior to that in Florida and uh, even got to go to Texas, minister to people. And that's what I desire right now. All these disasters, San Diego, since December 2nd, I believe, it's been one fire after another. And San Diego had a really close call, about eight miles as the bird flies, as the crow flies from where I live in San Diego. 26 horses died at one location. And it just, was just horrible. But now, the Thomas Fire, go ahead and Google Thomas Fire. It Just the past few days, it went from being the fifth largest to fourth largest. It is now, I believe it is still, as of yesterday, it is the third largest fire in California history. And it is larger than New York City. So, massive numbers of the Thomas Fire, $116 million in cost, 18,000 structures threatened, and hundreds of homes destroyed. And actually, a San Diego firefighter with Cal Fires died also a few days ago. We just had his funeral procession in San Diego yesterday. So pray for his family his friends, and pray for all of the first responders and for people who have lost their homes. But this is an update until I could come with you with a kind of like a normal show, okay? So, here are the staggering numbers behind the blazes. 269,000 acres. That's the size of the Thomas Fire, the largest one ripping across Southern California. It started in Ventura County, which is actually part of uh, Los Angeles, I believe. It's next to Los Angeles. But the largest one ripping across Southern California, it started in Ventura County and it is now moving across Santa Barbara County. And that is actually where the Reagan Museum is at. Presidential Museum in Santa Barbara County. At over 260,000 acres, the Thomas Fire is at least the third largest blaze in modern California history. It's torched an area larger than New York City. Altogether, wildfires this month have destroyed more than 270,000 acres in Southern California. $116 million so far. That's how much money had been spent fighting the Thomas Fire, according to Ventura County, and the cost is sure to grow since the inferno was still only 40% contained as of Saturday evening. 18,000 structures threatened. At least 18,000 homes are threatened by the Thomas Fire as of Saturday, according to the California Department of Forestry and Fire Protection, known as CAL FIRE. A total of 756 single-family residences have been destroyed. Did you hear that? 756 single-family residences have been destroyed, while another 189 have been damaged, according to CAL FIRE. More than... 1,100 structures had been wiped out by Thursday due to wildfires Cal Fire reported. It wasn't clear how many were homes and how many were businesses. About 8,400 firefighters are tackling the Thomas Fire alone. The Nevada Department of Corrections and Nevada Division of Forestry, which run conservative camps, have sent six trained crews of minimum security inmates to help in California. Thousands more firefighters, including from Arizona, Colorado, Idaho, Oregon, Utah, and Washington State, have been involved in battling other wildfires. Santa Barbara County has suffered intermittent but widespread power outages due to the Thomas Fire. Southern California Edison said that outages and surges had left up to 85,000 customers without electricity. At least 95,000 residents have have been evacuated in Southern California due to fires, Cal Fire said on Tuesday. $10 billion. This year has been the costliest for wildfires in U.S. history. Damage has topped $10 billion, and that was before the current fires, including the Thomas Fire, began in Southern California. So that's it for this update, you guys.
I have to get to work. God bless you. Always stay tuned to the Michael Tobin Show. And go ahead and check out my lineup, my archives, and be blessed. And have a wonderful day.